Yeah, we're still rolling. Ten things we can do at cans, and I'm starting with. Whoops. Diet Coke, regular Coke. Both 330 mil, you're checking the can, they say 330 mil. You put them inside here. Simple. Can of Coke, what happens? Oh. Oh. It better start sinking pretty damn soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing the reason that is floating. Yeah. Yeah, Where's got the air? Not in it. Oh, around it. Like Doesn't seem to be around it. But what it might have, the carbon drink. Yeah, there's a little hollow space right there, so I put it there. You still have your little pocket of air. So to get around that, what should I do? Oh, 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 That's close. Therefore, what can we tell about its density? Let's try the same thing. This time I don't want to put it in like that. It's got to be a fair Sink test. Got to put it in the same way. Oh! oh. So Diet Coke, really <laughs> less dense than regular Coke. What's the difference? No sugar. If you want to see how much sugar is in a regular kind of Coke, all you've got to do is put it in a beaker and evaporate all the liquid off of it. And what you're left with is something like this. You get that? Uh, yeah. Pretty nasty stuff. That's basically all there is to it. In fact, that this stuff, it's pretty much solid. <laughs> like so. <laughs> density and flotation, the difference being sugar, nasty stuff. Let's come back over here, still looking at density and flotation. All I've got here is a can of Sprite. The only reason I use Sprite is because it's colorless. In this case, all you do is throw in a couple of uh, raisins or nuts, sinking and floating. It's sinking because it's more dense than water. More dense than water. So why does it start floating? <laughs> what about carbon dioxide? Six the nuts. Yeah, you got little bubbles of carbon dioxide. So you got carbon dioxide gas in the whole liquid. Some of it sneaks to the nuts, and as soon as it sneaks to the nuts, their combined weight and their combined volume result in their density being less dense than the liquid, the 7-up liquid, and so they rise up. Why do they start sinking when they get to the top? Because they're Carbon dioxide gets released to the atmosphere, so now they're more dense than water, and down they go again. So raising and floating all got to do with density, density, sugar. Let's move over. Next one. Very, very silly stuff we can do here. I put something like this in here, and at this stage, I'll actually put it back up here, if you can focus on it, because it's just a little bit higher. Put that there. You can see that, Matthew? Um, yeah. Turn it around so the power is out to the side. I put this in. What's going to happen? There will be is it empty or full? Full. Oh. Be of it should sink. The water should rise up, and we see. Do we notice anything else? Can't get any bigger. <laughs> Feel free to express astonishment at any stage. <laughs> oh, oh, the can is huge! <laughs> Thank you very oh. much. Now, <laughs> why did the can appear to be bigger? I don't know how. Refraction, refraction. Refraction is a good word. Because it's water in refraction. So obviously refraction, right? So that explains why it's bigger. Let's take it from there. Uh, wow, there's three cans! <laughs> oh, is it getting magnified? No. no. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you say refraction. What's going on between the two of them? Prism. Obviously the fact that it's circular is making a difference. And here's the only thing I want to show, apart from the fact that I thought that was cool and you didn't, but that's <laughs> <cool. laughs> <laughs> is the issue of having a word for something. So yeah, straight away you knew it had something to do with refraction. And the the problem associated with that is you think you've got a word for it and therefore you think you understand it. I don't know why that happens. Obviously, as you said, uh, Louise has got something to do with that being a circular basin or a circular beaker. But beyond that, I don't know why it happens. And it's one of the great problems we have in education, is we have words for something, but we, and we think by having the word for it, we can we understand what's going on. I throw this up in the air, what happens then? Because of gravity. How does the earth know that that's up there? <coughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Right? So just bear in mind, just because you have a word for something, and this is what Newton himself said, Newton himself realized that the moon goes around the earth due to the same force of gravity that attracted this guy down to here. But even he stated, in a famous phrase, he says, I feign no hypothesis, I don't know why that works. These are just mathematically explaining how it works, but the why he said, I don't know. I don't know why this thing works, I don't know why gravity, notice that that's up there and pull it down, I don't know why that's much magnified there, and it's not here. 
but just having the word saying in one case it's reflection and the other case it's not is not a substitution for understanding. Unfortunately, you people can all get A1s in your leave and search without ever understanding anything. That's <laughs> education process. Wow. Let's yeah, move on. Sure. That's amazing. Sure. The system. You're still there? Still here. Uh, this case, this is nice and easy. I'm up to balancing on edge. Coke can. Put a little bit of water into it. I need a little bit of water. What happens then? Just a little bit more. I got one wow. Very tough audience, I can work with that. Why is it bouncing on its edge? Center of gravity is over that edge. Where is its space? Where is its space? The center of gravity has got to be over its space for it to be stable. Where is its space? It's that width right there. So once the center of gravity is over that width, it will stabilize. Which brings us on to another very nice demonstration. Uh, Dean, while you're there, 50 euros. Have you done this to you before? 50 euros that you can stand up against the wall on one foot? I can stand up against the wall. Stand up against the wall, one foot, your shoulder up against the door. In fact, yeah, that door there, you're fine. 50 euros. You've got to be part of the right angle to do it, so yeah, like that. Shoulder up against it, your inside foot has got to be touching the door. And 50 euros, yeah. you can hold it for three seconds. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't that work? Center of, gravity center, of gravity. center of gravity has got to be over your base. So as soon as you come in like this, my center of gravity is here somewhere. Feel free to try it, Louise. 50 euros if you get it right. <laughs> Alex, I should be giving you uh, one euro if you don't get it right. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for the right moment. One more go. <laughs> Dean Mike has figured it out. Is your inside foot up against the door? Yep. Uh, <laughs> is your inside foot up against the door? Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Right, we move it along. Two cans. In this case, we're looking at Bernoulli. That should be boiling. It is boiling. I'll come back to it in a second. Two cans. I blow between them. What should happen? If you push air in that between two cans, what do you guess will happen? Yeah. They'll go apart like that because you got wind going in there. Three, oh, well, two, crazy. one. You got it? Uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, wow, that was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. What's going on? Uh, yeah. 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 Cleaner? So by blowing, why am I blowing all the air out? How am I managing to blow the air out? It's a good guess. So you can imagine when things come together, usually it's got something to do with a vacuum. But I'm blowing things in there. I'm blowing the air that is there out, but I'm replacing it by other air that's there. So no, a vacuum, good guess, but it's not a vacuum. It's lower pressure. pressure. Yeah. Something to do with pressure. pressure. Why is it lower? Yeah, things come together because of lower pressure. Why is there lower pressure? Because the air is moving. Because the air is moving. But why does that? Um, that's a standard textbook. When the air is moving, the pressure is lower. Why is the pressure lower when the air is moving? It's like because, the, because the, all the air is going that way and not pressing against the cans. That's it. I've got everything going in that direction. <coughs> Therefore, normally the molecules are going in and out like that, and molecules out here are going in and out in all different directions. If I can get the ones that are going in and out shushing in that direction, there is nothing anymore to actually push out like that. So an easier version of that. You should get a page. So is that the technical term for it? Shushing. 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 <laughs> you blow over the top, what happens? Because? It's an airplane wing. Not because of <laughs> Why does it go up and you blow over the top? All the molecules which are going up and down and zigging and out, you're shushing them all in that direction. So there's nothing, or there's much less to go down, therefore the net effect of the molecules that are going up take over, and their effect takes over, and it goes up. Right, that's Bernoulli, nice and simple, but a nice demonstration of the whole notion of molecules explaining things.